U.S. Special Envoy George Mitchell said Wednesday that the, that the peace talks between the Israeli and Palestinian leaders were being conducted more seriously and faster than the uh, ones he brokered in Northern Ireland in the 1990s. Mitchell uh, particularly noted uh, progress regarding the construction freeze in the West Bank settlements. Associates of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, however, were quick to qualify Mitchell's enthusiasm, saying Netanyahu stressed at the meeting Wednesday that the moratorium that is set to expire on September 26 would not be extended. The administration of U.S. President Barack Obama has suggested that Israel extend the current moratorium on construction in West Bank settlements by an additional three months in order to resolve the disagreement surrounding the issue in recently uh, relaunched direct peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians. The London-based Arabic language newspaper al Shar al Asset reported on Wednesday. According to Asher al Asset, uh, Abbas has agreed to the U.S. suggestion, but Netanyahu has yet to respond. Washington is trying to circumvent the obstacle posed by the uh, settlement freeze in the Israeli-Palestinian peace talks and has devised a compromise which will allow the sides to make progress on other issues. The London-based Arabic language al Shar Asset newspaper reported uh, Thursday that U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has suggested a compromise according to which Israel uh, will prolong the settlement freeze uh, by three months and the time period will be used by both parties to reach an agreement on the border issues. Once new borders are set, Israel will be able to resume its settlement activity in the areas remaining under its control and will cease all activities in areas it is expected uh, to withdraw. American sources close to Clinton's delegation said they believe this offer uh, had, to, had the best chance, chances of preventing a deadlock in the talks. I have to agree. Determining borders first takes the settlement freeze obstacle completely out of the direct talks equation. At this time, Netanyahu remains vague whether or not the building freeze will continue, but I have to believe he will eventually give in to U.S. demands to extend it for another three months. U.S. Middle East uh, envoy George Mitchell is hoping for a major U.S. diplomatic breakthrough during his visit to, to Damascus Thursday, the possible revival of Syrian-Israeli peace talks. He carries with him for Syrian President Bashar uh, Assad a detailed map drawn up by Benjamin Netanyahu to represent Israel's proposal, uh, proposed withdrawal from much of the Golan. His tactics for Syria this time are quite different. Three months ago Netanyahu showed President Barack Obama detailed maps of the Golan showing how far he was willing to pull Israel forces back provided Assad followed, uh, followed in the footsteps of the late Egyptian President Anwar Sadat who visited Jerusalem in November of 1977 and was rewarded with a full peace accord with Israel and the recovery of the entire Sinai Peninsula and its demilitarization. A second Israeli condition for uh, negotiating a peace plus withdrawal pact is the severance of the Assad regime's strategic and military ties with Iran and termination of its backing for Hezbollah, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and a host of, of Palestinian terrorist organizations enjoying Syrian sanctuary and hospitality. Debka file sources report that France has been brought aboard the initiative. When French President Nicolas Sarkozy saw the uh, Netanyahu map, he appointed the eminent diplomat Jean-Claude Couzeran as special envoy for promoting an Israeli-Syrian peace accord. Kuzaran was a, in Damascus on Monday, September 13th, and spoke privately with Assad. Right after that conversation, the Elysee 
told the White House and Hillary Clinton that the door was open for Mitchell to present Netanyahu's proposals and map. This week, the Obama administration has embarked on two major Middle East diplomatic projects in the hope that by striking gold on at least one, its mediators can stimulate a second. According to Deb Kefile sources, Netanyahu has been trying for three months to convince Obama to place the Syrian peace track ahead of the fairly hopeless Palestinian process. He has shown the President how far Israel is prepared to go in ceding territory for drawing Assad to the negotiation table. The Prime Minister also argued that, barring minor differences, his plan was very similar to uh, one put forward by Frederick Hoff, uh, the Syrian expert on Mitchell's team, which proposes a, a two-stage Israeli withdrawal to the Ridge Line. This situation is tr uh, very interesting in that the U.S. has brought France in as a peace partner. French President Nicolas Sarkozy has now appointed a special envoy for promoting an Israeli-Syrian peace accord. The Bible says in Daniel 9.27 that a leader out of the old Roman Empire, which is modern-day European Union, would make a peace with Israel and many nations. It will be interesting to see if Sarkozy is ultimately successful in bringing peace between Israel and Syria and eventually to Israel and Palestine along with the rest of the uh, Islamic world. In other prophecy news, more Turks favor strengthening ties with Middle East, uh, Middle Eastern countries than with the 27 members of the European bloc, according to an international poll published on Thursday by British newspaper The Guardian. This is just not a trend, but a page out of Bible prophecy. Ezekiel 38 and 39 state, in the last days, Turkey would team up with Iran, Russia, and a host of Islamic nations to attack Israel. Turkey just announced that they will plan on tripling uh, their economic trade volume with Iran over the next five years, even against U.S. and E.U. opposition. For years, Turkey has been fruitlessly pursuing European Union membership. I look for Turkey to move in the direction of the poll results, abandon its desire for membership in the EU, and to embrace its anti-Israel Middle East partners, as the Bible predicts. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.